Jolly good. Hey, hello everybody, my name is Good Boy, and welcome to a video on what to expect in the next patch, which is either going to be a D patch or a brand new spanking patch. Um, before we begin, please always like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell. I'm actually going to start with the pro scene based on what's trending recently. What you can expect, probably, if Dream League is anything to, and Starlander are anything to look at, is some heroes that we'll be seeing some nerfs. Uh, consist of a hero like Chen, first and foremost. So Chen is currently the most contested in the tournament, and with his insane degree of pushing power, and, well, everything else he does, but mainly his push ability, makes him actually a pretty scary threat, and most people are actually banning him as opposed to allowing him through because of the dam damage and endgame potential of the hero. Um, but if we were to move into more conventional cores, Lifestealer, Pangalier, uh, Troll Warlord, and Viper are all seeing some pretty awesome gameplay. Now, if you want my sort of guaranteed nerf of the next patch, no matter what, it's definitely going to be Viper. Viper, not only in the pub scene, but also in the pro scene, is stomping. And he's stomping hard with actually one of the highest win rates in the game right now. Um, especially for a core hero. Viper is OP. There's no other way to describe the hero. And I found tremendous success in spamming him myself. So, definitely one to look out for. Lifestealer, though, still remains extremely viable and is performing very well as well. So, looking out for Lifestealer and Troll Warlord, who are kind of similar in many ways, um, is going to definitely look out for Nurse for those guys. I'm not sure if Midas is going to take another beating. It might, um, but I imagine Lifestealer and Troll will just see uh, fundamentals to the heroes themselves being adjusted. Pangalia is also pretty broken and overpowered as well. Um, Insane as an offlaner, you can be playing mid if you like, but with very minimal um, itemization, Pangolier starts to dish out incredible levels of damage. And with disarming capabilities and silencing capabilities, the hero becomes, well, just silly. So definitely look out for those. From a support point of view, it's not quite as clear, um, but Oracle could probably see a, a rap on the knuckles in terms of nerfs. In terms of the pub scene, um, the story is slightly different. In the sense that there's one hero performing better than Viper, and that's Lycan. Lycan actually has a 58% win rate right now. Um, again, mainly because of his pushing capabilities and his ability to end games. Uh, it can create an entire army of units around him and then flood and push like crazy. So Lycan is easily stomping the pub scene, and as a result, will very likely see a nerf. The only saving grace for Lycan could be that uh, he, as a hero, isn't massively being picked in the pro scene excessively. So that could be a thing. Um, but in terms of the pub, immortal ranks, you know, that kind of divine ranks, that's for Jazz, um, Bloodseeker, Darkseer, and of course Io are all performing exceptionally well. I mean, what were we expecting? So all of those heroes are likely to see some level of nerf or rebuff in some kind of way. Um, other little side notes are heroes that are still pretty good but not like out of control and that's Mars, Necrophos and Bounty Hunter. Now all three of those heroes, I mean Mars is new and Mars isn't like out of control good but is still pretty good. So it's hard to see whether or not he'll get nerfed. I would have thought he would see some sort of gentle wrapping on the knuckles, who knows. And Necrophos keeps slipping through the net. Um, and again, because he's not being spammed in the pro scene like crazy, Necrophos still could easily be left alone. Um, especially given the fact that he's, you know, stomping the low skill bracket quite nicely. So, um, so th there's that kind of thing to look out for. Whether or not we'll actually see some of those changes, I don't know. But I can pretty much guarantee you that Viper, Lifestealer, Troll Warlord and Pangalia are all going to see some serious damage. In terms of hero buffs, this is a somewhat more complex one because, well, Ice Rock tends to work at random. Um, you could see certain tanks being um, buffed again, like for example Timbersaw, Axe, and a Warrunner, Dragon Knight, um, Bristleback. 
none of those heroes, despite all of them actually being really, really solid offlaners, are actually performing particularly well in the uh, meta, particularly in the pub scene. And then from a pro scene point of view, uh, heroes, you know, sort of mid magic damage heroes aren't doing, you know, super well. So Storm Spirit, Zeus, uh, not massively being picked. Um, a little bit there with Silencer and Ricky is generally left alone. I think out of just respect for the game. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, these, these are the kind of heroes. I mean, rare to see Gyrocopter as well. So those, those are a few examples of heroes that aren't massively performing well. And perhaps Ice Frog may condescend to their level and give them a nice little buff. So that's the state of Dota right now. Those are the kind of things you can anticipate. My top tip is probably spam a lot of Viper before that hero goes down. And if you're in high skill brackets, spam Lycan like crazy before that hero goes down. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. And as always, please hit the like button, subscribe, share, and stay tuned for more great stuff coming soon. Goodbye.